Hello everybody, uh, this is Stephen from wonderful Wiltshire in England and it is Wednesday, it's 3pm in the UK and 10am on the East Coast and I'm just waiting for YouTube to go live so hopefully we're going to go live on YouTube in a moment and uh, let me just take a look waiting to go live sure I am live, just a moment okay can take a few seconds oh, right we are live okay so if you're watching live I want to say thank you welcome this is one stream live on a Wednesday it's the holiday season later this month and uh, we're going to talk today about the one stream mobile app now the one stream mobile app was updated at the end of October with several exciting features but the thing about the one stream mobile app is that it's been designed to be used on the go. So it's got everything that you know from the web app in a package on the iPhone, or you can download the app from the App Store or from Google Play, and uh, it works out the box. And I'm about to describe to you how you can make best use of this, what you can actually do whilst you're using the app on your phone. And astonishingly, as I say, well, if I just basically take a break for a minute, I'm just gonna show you a short video, because this morning I recorded the video about the app, so I could show it to you uh, as a contingency during this broadcast. Uh, so let's take a closer look at the app, then I'll be back to fill in the details, because we can get an overview, and then we're gonna get the details. So thanks for watching. Hello, this is Stephen in Wonderful Wheelchair, and we're going to take a look at the OneStream mobile app, which was updated at the end of October and is now basically a control system. Because what OneStream have done is taken everything that's in the browser software and put it onto your mobile phone, which means that you can control pre-recorded video whilst you're anywhere in the world. OK, if you've got your phone, you've got your OneStream control center. Let's take a closer look. So if I go here, then and go here. So OneStream mobile app, it's available on Android and iOS, and it is on the screen at the moment. OK, so let's take a closer look at it and uh, for this I need my glasses. Okay, so forgive me for this. And um, what you have is, first thing, is that you can bring in a third-party application and you can stream live to up to 45 destinations. So underneath, you've got the stream keys, which you need for your external software. Enter those in and then broadcast to this page. Okay. So your broadcast will appear at the top where it says stream not yet set up and not yet up. You can embed this on the web and you can go to 45 different destinations. And to select a destination, you just click it and you can't do that until you've got a signal coming in. OK, so when I did that, it said no incoming signal. So the first thing you need is a signal coming into the screen. So. For the purpose of the demonstration, we just have to assume I've got a signal. Um, so you set up the destinations, you set up whether you're going live on hosted live pages, which are a one stream unique feature. So you can control the broadcast from your mobile phone. Now, you can also control pre recorded streams. You can get, if you've just been out and actually recorded something onto your device, then you can bring it in. Otherwise, you can go to OneStream Storage and you can pick one of your latest videos to actually, uh, Halloween one I won't do, uh, but a video one I could. So I can take the video con one and in a second, just a minute, uh, that's it. And then I've got the stream details. I can enter a title and description, tags, everything that I can do on the desktop, I can do on the mobile phone. 
I can do the advanced settings and I can choose the destination. And again, I can go live to up to 45 different destinations and I can schedule from the mobile phone. So pre-recorded video, I can do everything I could do on the web browser app. And I'm going to discard that because I don't want to set up anything at the moment. So let's go back here. So you can bring in a third party app. You can control all your pre-recorded video. You can schedule any time. You can look at your ongoing schedule streams. And what's more, if I click that button, I can edit. If I set up an event and I want to change it, I can change any aspect of that event. So this is one that's due to go out tomorrow, 18 minutes, uh, one hour, 18 minutes in total. And again, I can choose all the destinations. So I'm controlling an existing broadcast from the top. I'm not going to make any changes. I'm just discarding. You can see the uh, broadcast that's going to go out this afternoon. And basically, I'm controlling all my recordings from within here now. In terms of videos, if I go to the menu and I go to videos, then I can upload a video and I'm going to take it from Google Drive. So I need to sign in to Google Drive and allow. And I can pick a video to upload. So I'm going to take that video, if I scroll down a bit, I'm going to take that video and select and now it's actually uploading and you can see the progress that's being made so i'm going to go there and it says it's already got that video let's try again and i'm going to bring just a minute finger trouble uh, i'm going to bring this video in and select OK, so I'm bringing videos in so I can bring videos in from Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, pCloud, Zoom, WebEx, Prem and Box. So I can bring a video into my OneStream control center and I can then schedule that video to go out all from the mobile phone. So let's go back again. Now, one of the important things is that on be live you can sorry on one stream live you can have <coughs> you, you can have team members because all of this going on everybody with the app on their mobile phone signed in can do everything that i've been showing you my team members are admins they can come in they can set up streams they can upload videos they can set destinations they can do everything any of those i'm not going to take the halloween one but i can reschedule an existing broadcast yeah, so if you broadcast something out and I want to replay it everywhere and up to 45 destinations, I can. So the point I'm making here is that as far as bringing third party apps in as doing pre-recorded video management, you can do it all from within the app. And it's just it just works. I mean, I've been testing it past couple of days it simply works this has been Stephen thank you for watching the mobile app you can download on iOS and Android bye for now so that was a video that I recorded earlier because I was trying to sort of play it safe because what you're going to see now if I do this this is my mobile phone and of course, that is the OneStream Live app on my mobile phone. As we said a moment ago, you can download it on iOS and on Google Play. There's a great team of engineers behind both of those, and it is available right now. So everything I show you now is live. Yeah, because this is it. This is the app. And in actual fact, if I sort of change my screen slightly, and just pull that over there you can see live okay what i'm doing i'm actually using a program called let's view uh, which is free and let's view allows you to share screen so i'm sharing from my mobile phone to 
my desktop and then doing a share screen within and everything's working well and as I said earlier in order to get down to the finer points of this I'm going to have to put my glasses on so I can actually read the screen on my phone um, so I want to say hello though uh, hello to Shazine Shazine brilliant apologies for misspelling um, and also to Domino Entertainment and Aman Khan uh, vlogs and over to Domino uh, and let's just go over to the chat and I can go here and go over to Domino and set as a banner. Uh, Stephen, take a look at Prism Live Studio and one stream live together for mobile live stream production. Thank you. I will take, I've not uh, used uh, Prism Live. I was doing some testing earlier, uh, bringing a third party app into one stream live. And it's just so smooth. I mean, RTMP in, and you can control it from your mobile phone now. Um, so I will take a look at that. Thank you. And Shazine is saying hello to everybody and to me. And hello, Aman. And Aman saying hello too. So I think we're okay. And Aman is also saying one stream mobile app on Play Store. Yes, it is on the Play Store. It's on both. It's on both the App Store, uh, Play Store, and it's also available on Google Play. So, yes, you can download it now and start using it. OK, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the app in. And I'm going to give a, a shorter walkthrough. If you've got any questions, uh, just get, catching up with the comments again. Uh, both again is without limits, saying, says Domino, I'm just waiting the order in which these have come in. So just a second. We're in no rush. Okay. And I've seen it. I saw, you see, a thing. I've got my iPad running at the side of me. Um, so I can see the comments twice. I can see the comments as they come in on my iPad and then they come into the studio and I can set them on screen. So Domino is saying both together is without limits. Yeah, I, I can. The, the power of, of the system is incredible. Uh, I mean, I've come in to OneStream Live with OBS, with vMix, with XSplit Broadcaster, with uh, Belive even. Yeah. And this combination of the two, the ability to go to four to five destinations is what makes it stand out. And the ease of use as well, because I'll show you now. I'm just going to go through step by step. OK, so let's take that off screen and remove as banner. So we're back. And thank you for the comments. Keep them coming. OK. Um, Aman is saying... On stream live without limit. Ah, no, no. I don't know whether this is our free versus paid version or conversation that continues through all my YouTube videos. Um, I think I answered that in the previous one. Right, thank you. And let's just go up here and remove as banner. And we're good. Right, okay. Now, the main options are actually on the front screen. So connect OBS and Zoom. Now, basically here, what you need, as Domino knows, is the stream keys. And um, the stream keys are permanent for this. So you can copy the URL. You can copy the key itself and put it into the software you're broadcasting from. So this could be OBS or vMix or XSplit Broadcaster or another uh, web-based system, bringing it into here so you get the advantage of going to 45 destinations, because no other app goes to 45 destinations. So there's the stream key. Just let me, I didn't mean to do that. Let's come back to here. I pressed the wrong button. This is gonna happen. This is a live demonstration with screen sharing taking place everywhere. So I'm gonna take that. Now, um, Prism is similar to OBS, but more mobile friendly. Together, one stream live and a host of live web pages is incredible. Yeah, a host of live web pages. I did 
uh, Halloween broadcast yesterday onto the uh, live web pages, and it, it just works so perfectly because you've got the background, you've got uh, the image, Halloween image, and then I was reading a poem by Edgar Allan Poe, and uh, it all works so sweetly. I mean, one stream keeps giving us. Now, choosing the destination is just a moment. Uh, you can either use the universal player, which is one embed code for everything. So you can take the embed code from here and you can put it into a blog page or a blog post. OK, now it can either be one which is the same all the time, which means that all your broadcasts on one stream will go through that channel or it can be unique to this event. And if it's unique to this event, as soon as the event is over, then the key is, needs, we can't use it again. OK, now underneath that, you can see all the destinations. And I've currently got 23 destinations set up and I could send the incoming signal to any of those, any single one of those 23 or all 23, because underneath I've got a button which says go live on all of them. That's a dangerous button because be, I'd be going live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. Yeah. But the thing is that you can decide from your mobile phone where to take it live. OK, so many destinations as you wish. And then, as uh, Domino just said, live web pages. I've got five live web pages, so I could select one of those. I'll just do the first one and that's set up. And configuration has been saved. OK, let's do another. Configuration has been updated. OK, so if I choose one of the, um, if I go there, then I'm told that I can only set a social media destination when I've got a signal coming in at the top. OK, so when I've got a signal coming in, where it says stream not yet up, that's when I can choose my social media destinations. Uh, choose all my social media destinations and then I can go live. OK, so it's so simple and straightforward to do. And you bring your signal in. Tell it where you're going to. And that's it. So that's control of third party apps coming in, OBS, vMix, XSplit Broadcaster and the like. OK, back to the glasses again. The next one is, and I think this is probably one of the most powerful parts of this mobile system, is pre-recorded streams. Now, as we know, pre-recorded streams can be stored on Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, pCloud, Zoom, WebEx, um, frame and box and i'm just going to take a comment which has come in two comments in actual fact if i can find them domino i will display them on screen and domino is saying prism is similar to obs but more mobile friendly together with one stream live and hosted pages it's incredible uh so take that off and i'm going to find your last comment which is here uh and live basis turns into lead magnets with real time engagement and connection to the live stream. That's it. With the, the live uh, web spaces, you can actually have a conversation with people whilst you're live on the page, which is absolutely brilliant. And the other thing in relation to that, Domino, is also we've got integrated chat, which means you can open up one tab and uh, that one tab has the ability to keep communicated but this is the thing this is the thing if i go over here for a moment uh, i'm trying to go over here okay so i'm back the uh integrated chat is brilliant because if you're going live on a live web page and that's live spaces live web pages same thing and if you're going live on social media destinations facebook youtube uh, then all the chats come into one page and you can converse with people across all the platforms. But brings me to my next point. If I go back here a second, let's just go here. I just want to say this is another thing that makes uh, one stream stand out. And that is 
team members. OK, now. You as the account owner can do everything on one stream live. OK, you can go live, you can schedule broadcasts, you can bring in third party software. You can have team members and one of those team members when you're live could be monitoring the chat so that you can carry on broadcasting and concentrating on telling your stories and getting your message across. And they can be looking after your unified chat. So the chat that's going on the web page, on the uh, social media destinations, they can handle all the chat. They can reply to people and get people engaged. Uh, so we agree on that. Engagement is key, Domino. And that's, again, where one stream live scores. Now, the other thing is that basically you bring in people who you totally trust as admins. If I go add, yeah, just a minute. If I go, just a minute, I need my glasses. Come on. If I go to invite a team member, all I need is their email address, and I can type in their email address, and I can choose whether they're going to be an admin or a manager. Now, an admin can do everything that the account owner can do apart from go live. So they can bring in their own destinations, and they, if they're there when you go live, they can set their destinations live. You can't. Yeah they can set their destinations live. So if they want your broadcast to go out to their following on social media, their Facebook, their LinkedIn, their YouTube, they can. Okay, so if Angelica or Joe knew I was broadcasting live, they can go into the app and they can take the broadcast and they can send it out to their destinations, which gives you a much wider audience. OK, so team members are important. Team members can upload videos. Team members can schedule recorded videos. Yeah. The only thing they can't do is to go live, which is fair because they have their own accounts for that. OK, so team members are a very important part of one stream live and controllable from the app. OK, you can invite people. You can change people's status from admin to manager or from within the app. OK, let's go back and go home. Um, right, pre-recorded stream. That's where I was. Yeah. You can store a pre-recorded stream either on the one on one stream. Let's go for one stream storage. And it shows me the shows I've done. I've just been testing sound a moment ago. And then I did a video about agency. We've got Ask Angelica. And somewhere down here, yeah, I've been testing a lot. Okay, so if I scroll right down, I should come to what I'm looking for. And she's down here somewhere, pretty sure. But I can pick any of those videos. Okay, so let's select that video. I can type in the stream title and description. I can put tags in. I can change the advanced settings, which change whether the video is 180 degrees or 360, delete the post after, uh, activate DVR on YouTube, and allowed for kids on YouTube. That's a specific setting. Let's take that back down. And then I can choose destinations. Again, I can either have a unique key for the one broadcast or a key for the universal player, which is the same key for all events. I can schedule it for later. And I need at least one destination to that. So send it to a page, a live web page, schedule for later. And um, it's now set, settled. I could actually change that. Just a minute. I want to schedule it for four o'clock. So let's take that to four o'clock. OK, I'll have to remember to delete this afterwards. That video is now scheduled or will be in a second four o'clock that video will go live at four o'clock now this is this is another amazing feature i can schedule it to go live once i can reschedule it i can republish it every week or every day i can get it to stream consecutively so there are various options in that i'm just going to go schedule once and schedule stream so i've scheduled this stream from the app yeah, it's as easy as that. And it will update 
my studio straight away. So what I'm doing here is reflected in my web-based studio and I can, uh, okay, I'm going back, back to the comments in a minute, just finish this session off. So that has all been sorted. Let's put that down for a moment and come over to the comments. Domino, thank you. Uh, I'm just going to go down to the end and catch up with the comments. And over to Amal, and Amal is saying, Domino Entertainment, bro, EV Mux Unlimited. Okay, right. Thank you for your advice. Uh, I think in terms of facilities, I'm just going to, I'm going to come on screen for this. In terms of facilities, because we want to stream live, you can broadcast live from a studio. You can broadcast live from a third party application like OBS, vMix, XSplit. And you can broadcast pre-recorded video. That combination of features together with the mobile app means that there is nothing Nothing comes anywhere close to the feature set that OneStream Live has. Yeah. And uh, we did a review of EVMUX a couple of years ago. So I've been inside there. I know what it's like. Um, and Domino is saying, awesome, thank you. And I'm just going to catch up with the comments. Let's just go over here. Okay. And... Uh, Dom is saying he's, he's with them as well for the apps and widgets. And the next comment, multi-platform integration and mobile live stream production is my thing. It's mine too. Okay, I quite I quite enjoy this going live thing. Yeah, and it's the best thing. It's the best way to communicate with people. And it's the best way to help people, to help other people to go live. Uh, Joe Shepard and I started a venture to help people use one stream to go live, just as by the by. Okay, you are watching, just a minute, get here. One stream, the mobile app, and we're revealing the update that took place late October, and it is available on the App Store and on Google Play, and we are going through the application itself live right now. So let's go back to the phone. The other thing from the phone, and we're coming up, we've done a schedule, is that I can add it to my calendar. So I'm going to allow one stream to access my calendar, and I'm going to do it through there. And now I've got it saved in my calendar. Uh, okay, I missed a word out. I'm going to save that. I'm going to close my calendar. I'm going to come back to the app. Just a minute, we're going to go through everything now. Um, let's go back to the app and I'm going to close the app. We're going to go back. So the stream has been scheduled successfully. I got the uh, embed code at the bottom as well. So creating a stream on your mobile phone, simple and straightforward to do. And pre-recorded streams are basically, well, I after this stream, and this, this is, this is, I can only do this. I can only do this with one stream live. This video is live on the one stream live YouTube account. And I want to say thank you to Aman and to Domino and Chazine for actually watching live. If you're watching the replay, thank you to you as well. But what happens at the end of this broadcast is the recording is stored in my one stream cache of videos. And I could go to my mobile phone, and I'll do it tonight. I could go to my mobile phone, take this video. Yeah, without going anywhere near a computer, I can take this video that I'm broadcasting now, and I can send it out as I do to five YouTube destinations, to a web page, to YouTube, to Twitter, to Twitch, everywhere, LinkedIn as well. This broadcast at the end will go out to about 11 different destinations, and it's all thanks to. One stream and this very versatile mobile app. It does everything that you want on the move. So I've got it. If I go here over to Domino, I'm just trying to keep up with the comments. I may miss a comment for which my apologies. Um, okay, so I use One Stream Live Studio the most, especially live spaces. Now with the app, that is cool. 
it just keeps getting better and better. I've got to say that. And over to, okay, I'm not going to share that comment again. Okay, <laughs> right. Um, all right, I think I'm up to date on the comments. Multi-platform integration and mobile. Yeah, we've done that one. So I'm up to date with the, all the comments. Um, yeah, so time check to show that we're live. Oh, I've got messages on my phone. I hate getting messages on my watch. Just a minute. Let me just delete that, clear that. It is in the UK. This is confusing this week because our clocks went back last Saturday. It's 3.30 in the UK. It's 11.30 Eastern and 8.30 on the West Coast. And if you're watching from the States, thank you very much. Um, so the fact that this, this app is can do everything apart from one thing, and if I show you that, and I'm excited by this, and I'll tell you why for a moment, in a moment. If I bring this over here, yeah, you can see in the central screen that we've got the studio, Connect OBS, pre-recorded stream and live broadcast. If I press the studio button, it says coming soon. Now, when that arrives, Domino, when that arrives, we're, we're made because that is a game changer. Because to be able to take your mobile phone at, at weekends, Angelica and I go out and about, and I take my mobile phone with me. And to be able to have my mobile phone and go live on up to 45 destinations with my mobile phone using one stream live is going to be totally amazing, totally game changing as most of the things that OneStream Live do are. So I am really looking forward to that. And it is because of everything. The thing is that you, you've got a choice here. Um, if I come back to here, you've got a choice. Basically, the approach that OneStream Live have taken here is one I totally agree with. Everything that you can do on the web app, you can now do on the mobile phone apart from going live. And that's the last brick in the wall. Yeah. That's the one that ties everything together. But for the moment, we I can, I can go over Christmas and go to and I are going to Germany. And I can oh, I need my mobile phone. And I can make sure that I've got, I can create an update to schedule from my mobile phone. And I can keep broadcast going whilst we're away. Now, if the live arrives before, all good. But I'm quite happy in December to take my phone with me, or uh, my iPad because I've got I've got a phone there. I've got the iPad here, and the app works on both. I can take both those to Germany, leave the computer at home, and I've got everything on here that I would use on the desktop web application. Okay, the other thing I can do is again glasses again is I can basically add connections from within the app. So I can add my profile, which is already there. I can add a page. So if I go for page, it's already got my pages and I can choose uh, live stream solutions and then go down the bottom of the screen and my phone's playing up, it had to be. But if I try and click that button, uh, there's a button there at the bottom. You know it's there. I know it's there. Um, okay, and I just can't reach it. Things with a live demonstration, but I just take it on principle that I can add destinations from Facebook page, groups, LinkedIn pages and groups, YouTube, Twitch, via RTMP, very important to Domino and me, uh, Twitter, or X as we now call it, Instagram, if you qualify to broadcast on Instagram, and then there are a host of other destinations underneath, all of which one stream live can broadcast to. Now, I'm going to try out a few of those. It's always tempting to go and broadcast somewhere new. And with one stream live, you just need to set it up, whether it's an API link or an RTMP link, simple and straightforward. So that's it. There are features if i uh if i stop sharing that so i'm going to hide that 
just to do a recap and that should disappear in a moment okay so if i go full screen with me what i'm going to do now just to make sure that i haven't missed anything is i'm going to screen share and i'm going to screen share a tab because in getting ready for this broadcast i was able I was able to read the blog post. Okay, this every time that there is an update, if you go to uh, one stream live blog, one stream live forward slash blog, you'll get a full description of what's been changed. So let's just run through the latest update. And first thing that's been happened is improved mobile uploading. Now I tested that this morning. And it is easier to bring up uh, a video from storage into OneStream Live. And you do get progress of how that's going on. So cloud storage upload, you can monitor the progress. Uploading a video from cloud storage. Team management. I've spoken extensively about this, but team management is so important. And it really does enable you to do a lot more than if you're just broadcasting solo. And let's, right, okay, and over to Domino. Let's come down again. Uh, Stephen has all the toys and gadgets. I, <laughs> that's kind of you to say so. Uh, I mean, I'm very fortunate in the position I'm in, in actually working for One Stream Live, um, enjoying every moment. I, I enjoy, I mean, techie, tech, I've been here, I've been around live video for the last eight years and uh, I've collected all sorts and uh, Dom is saying multiple platform integration is my thing and wow, exactly. Okay, so thank you for the comments. As I said, keep them coming. Uh, so I need to go here. I get used to this studio so once there, Domino. So, Basically, team management is important. This is this is one of the things that set one stream live apart. And you can do it within the app. You can add people. You can take people off. You can change them from admin to manager. Um, and you've just got total control over team management. Okay. So that's in. There is now the thumbnail editor. Uh, for selecting thumbnails that wasn't there before that's now there so when you do uh, create a scheduler broadcast you can bring in a thumbnail from your mobile phone we talked earlier about embed codes and being two types one for the universal player which means that the video will play every single broadcast you do and the unique embed which is for the event that you're actually doing and you can copy those and you can use hosted live pages as well or you can go live on everything. So every single aspect is now covered in the app. Everything you can do on the web, you can do in the app, which is so totally amazing. It means that we now have the freedom. I mean, the thing is, when you organize broadcasts for other people through your own channel, you can do it on here. Yeah on the mobile from anywhere in the world. Literally, I'll be doing this in Germany uh, over Christmas and New Year. So it frees us up. Having the mobile app is basically giving us even more power than we had. Because the thing is, okay, as far as the web-based system is concerned, you can use it whilst you're near your computer, but you're not, you're not sat at your computer all the time. Whereas your mobile phone during the day is always with you. So if you need to do anything on your OneStream Live account, you can do it in the moment. You don't need to wait till you get back to your office or home. You can make the changes on the app straight away. And I'm just going to do a screen share again because I, I can only do one screen share at a time, which is quite, quite fair. Stops me getting carried away. Uh, so I'm going to share the screen. And hopefully this is working and I'm going to share an app. Okay, so we're going to get the, the app back in again. 
There it is. I want to say, I just want to give a shout out. I want to give a shout out to the piece of software I'm using to do this because I would not be able to show you my mobile phone if it wasn't for this piece of software. So I'm going to type it into the chat now. It's free. You can't get better than free. Uh, if I misspell anything, my apologies. Uh, so, oh, wait a minute. That's total rubbish. Oh, wait a minute. Let's view using. Ah, oh, I got a. I use Grammarly. I don't know whether anybody uses Grammarly. Um, there it is. The program I'm using to actually share that is a program called Let's Review. And it's running on my desktop and it's running on my mobile phone, which means I can share my mobile phone screen in a one stream live demonstration. So if ever you want to do that, Let's View, set it up on desktop, set it up on mobile, load them both, connect them, and then you can share your mobile screen in a live broadcast. Over to Domino. Uh, I would connect with you concerning this interactive webinar style hybrid event that I'm currently organizing. I have a whole branch dedicated to for onboarding. I honestly believe. Just a minute. Just a minute. I'm trying to find it. All oh, right. You, you've broken this. No, you've, you've. Just let me go here. I used to believe you will love it. Okay. Okay. Because you've got the two dots at the end. I'm, yeah, by all means, do. We, we obviously have many things of common interest. So I've got a new message as well. Let's go down here. Uh, and I'm familiar, but it took too much to run it, but I like it. Okay. Yep. We can work together on that one. That's for sure. Okay. And the program I'm using is, let's hide that one. And thank you for all the comments, Domino. Program I'm using, I'm going to put it on screen. Or will it not let me? It, I, I can't show my own comment on screen. That's, that's strange. Okay, never mind. Let's concentrate on what we can do. And what we can do with the mobile app now is virtually everything. Yeah, I, I can't say this too often. To actually have, because I've I've met all sorts of systems over the years, and they said we've got a mobile app, and we've said, yeah. Okay, and we've taken a look at it, and it's not got all the features. This OneStream Live app has got all the features that the web page app has. Um, and it's just so, well, it makes it so powerful. So before I disappear, I'm just going to play that video again um, uh, because I made it and I'm going to use it. Because the thing is that we can play a video within one stream live. This is a short summary of everything I've been talking about. If you've got any questions about the app, just ask. Hello, this is Stephen in Wonderful Wheelchair, and we're going to take a look at the OneStream mobile app, which was updated at the end of October and is now basically a control system. Because what OneStream have done is taken everything that's in the browser software and put it onto your mobile phone, which means that you can control pre-recorded video whilst you're anywhere in the world. OK, if you've got your phone, you've got your OneStream control center. Let's take a closer look. So if I go here, then, and go here. So OneStream Mobile app, it's available on Android and iOS, and it is on the screen at the moment. Okay, so let's take a closer look at it. And uh, for this, I need my glasses. Okay, so forgive me for this. And, um, what you have is, first thing, is that you can bring in a third-party application and you can stream live to up to 45 destinations. So underneath, you've got the stream keys, which you need for your external software. Enter those in and then broadcast to this page. OK, so your broadcast will appear at the top where it says stream not yet set up and not yet up. You can embed this 
on the web and you can go to 45 different destinations and to select a destination you just click it and you can't do that until you've got a signal coming in okay so when i did that it said no incoming signal so the first thing you need is a signal coming into the screen so for the purpose of the demonstration we just have to assume i've got a signal um so you set up the destinations you set up whether you're going live on hosted live pages which are a one stream unique feature so you can control the broadcast from your mobile phone now you can also control pre-recorded streams you can get if you've just been out and actually recorded something onto your device then you can bring it in otherwise you can go to one stream storage and you can pick one of your latest videos to actually uh, halloween one i won't do uh but the video one i could so i can take the video con one and in a second just a minute uh that's it and then i've got the stream details i can enter a title and description tags everything that i can do on the desktop i can do on the mobile phone i can do the advanced settings and i can choose the destination and again i can go live to up to 45 different destinations and i can schedule from the mobile phone so pre-recorded video i can do everything i could do on the web browser app and I'm going to discard that because I don't want to set up anything at the moment. So let's go back here. So you can bring in a third party app. You can control all your pre recorded video. You can schedule any time. You can look at your ongoing schedule streams. And what's more, if I click that button, I can edit. If I set up an event and I want to change it, I can change any aspect of that event. So this is one that's due to go out tomorrow, 18 minutes, uh, one hour, 18 minutes in total. And again, I can choose all the destinations. So I'm controlling an existing broadcast from the top. And I'm not going to make any changes. I'm just discarding. You can see the uh, broadcast that's going to go out this afternoon. And basically, I'm controlling all my recordings from within here now. In terms of videos, if I go to the menu and I go to videos, then I can upload a video and I'm going to take it from Google Drive. So I need to sign in to Google Drive and allow. And I can pick a video to upload. So I'm going to take that video, if I scroll down a bit, I'm going to take that video and select and now it's actually uploading and you can see the progress that's being made so i'm going to go there and it says it's already got that video let's try again and i'm going to bring just a minute finger trouble uh, i'm going to bring this video in and select okay so i'm bringing videos in so i can bring videos in from dropbox google drive onedrive p cloud zoom webex prem and box so i can bring a video into my one stream control center and i can then schedule that video to go out all from the mobile phone so let's go back again now one of the important things is that on be live you can, sorry on one stream live you can have <coughs> you, you can have team members because all of this going on everybody with the app on their mobile phone signed in can do everything that i've been showing you my team members are admins they can come in they can set up streams they can upload videos they can set destinations they can do everything any of those i'm not going to take the halloween one but i can reschedule an existing broadcast yeah, so if you broadcast something out and I want to replay it everywhere and up to 45 destinations, I can. So the point I'm making here is that as far as bringing third party apps in, 
as doing pre-recorded video management. You can do it all from within the app. And it's just, it just works. I mean, I've been testing it the past couple of days. It simply works. This has been Stephen. Thank you for watching. The mobile app you can download on iOS and Android. Bye for now. Right, I've just got notification that the Ask Angelica broadcast that I set up for four o'clock today. Uh, it, I got a 10 minute notification that it's actually going live. So that was done from the app live whilst I was talking to you and it's taking the Ask Angelica episode and broadcasting it out. I wish you endless, um, well, enjoyment really uh, when you're using the app. Just a note uh, finally before I go that is if you go to the menu down the left hand side you can see destinations we set those up you can set schedules up you can alter schedules you can upload videos you can see your history and reschedule things and down the bottom you have help now I want to say a word really about the help if I I'm, I'm appreciative of the help that I get because I use the system most days and I get instant help whenever I click the button, bottom right hand corner, and ask a question, I get an answer, which is absolutely brilliant. So support is brilliant. You can click that from in your studio. And the other thing is down at the bottom, you can actually join the community. Now, I recommend that you do that. If you're interested in one stream live from the app, click the button, take you straight to Facebook and straight into the community. Um, so. Hopefully, I've given you a flavour of what the app can do. I've totally enjoyed doing this, as you can hopefully can tell. To Domino, to Aman, to, to Zine, to everybody who's commented live today, I want to say thank you. To Domino, we'll get in touch and get something sorted. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. This has been Stephen from Wiltshire, broadcasting on one stream live on the YouTube channel. And because of this app, are we broadcasting, rebroadcasting this everywhere later today? Thank you for now. Take care.